All right, in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about equalization, which is a really important concept to understand in mixing. And we'll keep the, the technical background pretty straightforward so that you can really just pay attention to how things sound. When you deal with a track, as you may remember from our lecture on sound properties, you have frequency, you have amplitude. Frequency deals with the highs, the mids, and the lows. So when we adjust some of those ranges, the character of the track will change quite a bit as well. I'm going to come up here to equalization and what you will see is a graph. You will see an X and a Y axis. This side of the graph deals with amplitude. So how loud or how soft, how much we boost or how much we reduce in terms of volume or amplitude of the ranges of frequencies that we want. Here to the right side, or on the lower right hand side of this, we have the actual ranges of the frequencies that we're dealing with. So as you can imagine, 20 hertz, 40 hertz, up to about 100 hertz, that's the lows. As we get in here, we get into kind of the mid-range. And then we have the highs, or much more of the treble range of frequencies over here. Now, what we have when we start off is something called flat flat frequency response. And what this basically means is that we have not changed or altered any of the ranges of the frequencies. Zero is fine. It's a good starting point. Now, what you can do, you can actually come in and adjust this yourself. You can come in and start drawing lines and adjust those to the place that you want them. I'm going to go ahead and hit flatten and go back to the starting point. You can also come down here to what's called select curve. And Audacity will give you a pretty suitable range of these to choose from. Now, if I hit base cut, what you'll see pretty clearly is just as it sounds, up to about 200 hertz, we have cut off the low end of this. So what we have to play is the mid-range and the highs. If I preview that, now it's not really super discernible on these speakers. If I go back to flatten and I hit treble cut. So basically what this is saying is that anything above 10,000 hertz is gone. If we preview that, you'll hear more of that AM radio or the, uh, the drive-through, as I like to call that one. Um, AM radio is pretty similar. So in this case, we've got pretty flat mid-range. All the highs and all of the lows are gone. So you get that sort of walkie-talkie sound. Um, walkie-talkie is even narrower if you listen to that. So that's a really muffled kind of sound, and you know that may be what you're going for, depending on the, the kind of track you're dealing with. Now, um, you can also you can customize this the way you, you like it. The one that's pretty common, especially in R and B, is the um, is the telephone sort of sound, that kind of cell phone type sound. So in this case, we've got you know a pretty pretty broad cut from 20 hertz all the way up to about 100 hertz and then above uh, let's say about 4,000 or so about 3,000 it starts to just drop off and so we've gotten rid of most of that what we have in this range is you know a fairly decent amount of mids but nothing else so we don't have the richness of the sound that you might be looking for now if you ever want to go back you can also come in and you can, you can actually adjust these manually too. You can come in and get a range and then depending on what kind of sound you have, you can actually come in and customize these the ways that you want to. And it really is about experimenting uh, and, and finding one that you like. And if you actually end up finding a, a, a preset or a template that you like, you can actually save that and then Audacity will, will save it the next time you call it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit flatten and we're gonna go back to the beginning. 
So that's one way that you can definitely explore equalization. And, you know, if you don't want to worry too much about um, drawing curves, you can also come over here to what's called the graphic EQ, which is essentially the same, but it will look more like a mixer would, and you can boost certain ranges. This is really good, especially if you just want to fine tune certain ranges without having to worry about drawing S's and, and lines. Uh, if you don't want that one, you can go back to the draw curves. And if you want on the graphic EQ, you, it'll, it'll function the same way. So you'll see essentially the curve and then which of the, the notches are boosted or cut. And if you ever want to go back, you can just flatten it out and you're, you're good to go. So that's one way you can definitely explore equalization. It's really nice. It's very helpful. I will tell you, it definitely takes some experimenting to get comfortable with. You may like your track as is, but just simply want to get rid of one part of the highs, the mids, or the lows. And so one of the ways that we do that uh, is by what's called a filter. So there are a number of these to pick from. But um, if I come down here to, let's say, high pass filter. Now, just as it sounds, when I apply the high pass filter, I am telling this track that I don't want anything in the mids or the lows to go through. So they're going to be cut or at least reduced. So when I apply this, the highs are really what we're only going to hear. And if you notice that, really what's left over is the highs. If I play that, it's very thin, it's very tinny, and my guess is that this is not something you're going to want uh, for the entire track, but there may be certain sounds where you want to experiment with a filter. It's the same uh, if I come down to the low pass filter. So if I apply the low pass filter and set a pretty aggressive threshold, actually let me do that again. Uh, I'm going to come down to low pass filter. There we go. And I'm going to bring this back. So if I set this at a pretty low range, then you're going to hear a pretty distinct difference. So that track is really muffled sounding. And what I have done here is I basically said, listen, I only want the low range to be heard. Everything else is either going to be reduced or just cut. It, it's just gone. Now, this is our original. So you're going to need to use some care with this, just like you would with anything else. But I would say the major approaches are coming up to effect, low pass filter, high pass filter, and then the more traditional equalization. Those will give you a number of options and if you want to use one of the templates and then slightly adjust it that way that'll work well too.